called Big Cat. Dion! Hey, Dion. You ready for football? Uh, I am. It's another season, baby. Pro Football Football Show. All right, Dion, showtime. Football is back. Welcome to the Pro Football Football Show presented by the Chevy Silverado. Week nine of the NFL. It is officially November, which is crazy. And we have a hockey guy sitting in for Dave today. Ryan Whitney, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I have range. I have range. I have range. I have range. Dion, thanks for having me. Casey, yeah. thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Of course. This just shows Thank that you can, you can do it him. all. Okay, you yeah, can... I have. I've dragged him around. Oh, you've dragged him I around. Got some, I got some hockey questions. Oh, what do you got? Go for it. Uh, yeah. A uh, couple things that I'm really not happy about. Um, <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Hockey. Uh -oh. um, first, uh, um, why is the puck black? Let's just get it. Let's just get it off the top. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's get ahead of that. The ice is yeah, white. They just... So you yeah. want to make sure you can see oh, the puck. Oh, that's a good, okay, okay. Yeah. Fair enough, <laughs> yeah. fair enough. Okay. Fair the enough. contrast, you yeah. the contrast. I don't yes, even want contrast. my second one, okay. I'm good. I mean, if you want the <laughs> ice black and we get the puck white, I'll talk to the league. No, I'm just, the thing that they hit gotta be black. I, I just didn't understand that growing up. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm good, I'm good. You, you, you got it out of the way, I'm, I'm good now. Cool. Just contrast, yeah. that's what- the, Contrast, you yeah. need the viewers contrast. to see the contrast. <laughs> that's what you need. Like, the, I, just, I just needed to know. I mean, you can't hit the quarterback in your sport, but I guess we'll go after the puck being black, that's fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got some NFL like issues that. too, Dion. It's, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. So this show started off hot. You've been doing the Dan schedule today, Wit, so you've uh, been yes. going through the car wash. How are you feeling? I feel phenomenal. I feel phenomenal. Yeah, you're I've been up. hot. I've been hot too. Picking NFL games, picking college, so I'm ready to just give the viewers, give the people at home some 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 wins. Yes, we so like I'm here that. to do. Yeah, we like it's that. It's good. And you and everything that you pick today does go towards Dave's record, which I know you guys. So I have might try such, to lose that. Yeah, yeah I would say you have record. such a loving relationship with each yeah. other that usually that that plays out well. We'll get to those picks, Dion. You mentioned before when we started recording that you're doing so well in picking games this year that it reminds yeah. you of when you were a kid and they said you didn't play well with others. You feel like you're doing yeah, that to Dan. Yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, and, and he's a good guy. I love him. I mean, he's a great dad and uh, you know, he got some some shortcomings, but uh, other than that, uh, with, with Jerry, this stuff with Jerry, uh, cause I love Jerry. Whoa, but oh, did you say I, shortcomings because Jerry's Jerry. short? Oh no. No, oh, see what I'm saying, Jerry? It. Jerry, do not let him I know, Dion, trust me, I know. Let him get you're through, good. I love you, Jerry. Right. You're good. Yeah, yeah. He, he would never. Yeah. Uh, before we pick never. some games though, we did have some news coming out of the NFL trade deadline. Dan, I know that Chase Claypool is heading to Chicago. Yep. How are we feeling about that? Very excited, Jerry and I spoke yesterday. Jerry uh, agreed he's in the conversation for best receiver in the NFL. Uh, um, I'm, you know, we had what? the conversation. Oh. Okay, yeah, fair. so the conversation. So the conversation happened. So it is he is in the conversation. But he's going he to just got really sent to prison. He just got <laughs> sent to. <laughs> like, no, he like didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he did Thank you, Dion. Listen, Thank you, Dion. Dion. Oh my God. Dion. Justin Fields is the guy. I've decided. I've seen oh enough. Yeah. He's the guy. He, no, he's not. He okay. is the guy. Okay. He is okay. the guy. He's going to be just as good as Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Jerry's, you hear Jerry laugh? Jerry is good. Like, I know, Dion. It's pathetic right, that he we'll thinks see. he thinks we'll Justin see. Fields is the guy. Yeah, but we'll here's see. the thing: is you have to you have to tell yourself that. No, 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 no. I never told myself with Mitch. I love Mitch, but I never was like I never had that same feeling of okay. like, okay, this is this is special. Justin Fields is special. So this is a real feel. Yeah, he's he some big games this year. He, right? yeah. He's special. <laughs> Monster, yeah. monster He beat the crap out of the Patriots on Monday yeah, Night Football. Patriots, Patriots are awesome. He yes. looked awesome against the Cowboys' mm -hmm. number one defense. Yeah, they lost by 20, but who cares? Yeah. He's that the doesn't guy. matter. No, it doesn't. Not this yeah, year. It, it don't matter the points in the game. It don't matter. You know. Correct. <laughs> so getting Chase Claypool is going to take that next, next step level. to him being the guy. Next level. Okay. What yes. did Chase Claypool do to deserve that? I, I feel bad for the kid, man. No, uh, he was in. I know he's he done, Dion. He was in hell in, in Pittsburgh. They didn't know they had Matt Canada running that offense, just bubble screens all day. He's big, he's fast. Send him down the field. Funny you say Canada. He's going to be in the CFL after oh, having to go play. He's, oh, he yeah. is Canadian. He is Canadian, so that would work. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. A couple of other moves Bradley Chubb going to Miami, TJ Hawkinson going to the Vikings. Did anything else stand out to you guys that came out of trade? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing whatsoever. 
I, yeah. I love what the Dolphins Football is not a big trade team. Football is not No, but it's big, changing, Dion, huh? Team. There's yeah. way more, more of that happening. And I, I love what the Dolphins did. I also like the fact they got Jeff Wilson from the 49ers mm-hmm. who runs, who knows how to run in Shanahan's offense, which Mike McDaniels runs in Miami. I, I like the Dolphins. They're going all in. Mm. Yeah, it does seem weird that like the NFL trade deadline doesn't stand out as much as like the NBA or other sports leagues do. NHL. But there was the mo- NHL, of course, we, the hockey guy Thank here. You. The most ever trades on deadline day though this year. So you're right, it is it it's is changing. changing Dion, I bit. thought Dallas yeah. would do something. No, no, they they really don't need anything on defense. The need is on offense. You can't bring another lineman in there right now to, to get your two hundred million dollar quarterback killed. That's not a good trade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the storyline games of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. Dion, I'll start with you. The Bills at the Jets. We saw the the shine fall off of the Jets a little bit last week. They lost to the Patriots. Zach Wilson had three interceptions. The Jets finally looked like the Jets a little bit. And meanwhile, the Bills keep rolling. I know they have one loss this season, but beating the Packers the way that they did, it seems like they are one of, if not the best team in the league. What do you see happening between these two teams on Sunday? This, this first statistic, this first dot up here that says the Bills have beat three MVP quarterbacks, uh, Jackson, Mahomes, and Rodgers. That statement right there, if you don't read nothing else, That's it would make time. you mm-hmm. pick the Bills right now. These guys are rolling defensively, offensively. They got it going. Um, the quarterback is having an MVP-like season as well. So I'm going to ride with uh, the Bills. I think the Jets are trick-or-treating as well. What? I, I think the Bills are such a wagon. If they mm-hmm. can't win a Super Bowl this year, it'll mm-hmm. never happen. Mm-hmm. And the place is completely cursed. They're so good. I refuse to pick against them. Josh Allen, the best quarterback, sorry, Dion. I know you got the whole running thing with Lamar and him. Josh Allen, mm-hmm. the Bills are unstoppable right now. Unstoppable. They will trounce the Jets. Yeah. Zach Wilson's throws last week so were bad. so bad. Like, that's just not a QB that you can win with, let alone against the Bills. I know. I, I actually feel bad for Jets fans, too, in the, in the respect that the rest of their team is really yeah, good. Yeah, they're good. Like, their mm-hmm. defense is really, really good. They mm-hmm. they they have some uh, you know Brees Hall got hurt he looked electric before he got hurt they've done a good job in the draft but now they're stuck in a situation where if Je- uh, Zach Wilson isn't the guy it sets you completely back and it's like man does he look bad like the Bears yeah I, I, I know from, uh, listen the 2018 yeah. Bears and like what I thought they were building with their defense and then you know Mitch was ne- never able to take that next step. It no, no, sucks. he's talking about the now. Yeah, talking about Dion. Thank you, no, no, thank no, no, you, no, no, Dion. Yeah, he's not talking about the, we got a guy. the Mitch. No, no, he's talking about the now. It's a, t- it's a terrible place to be in when you when you when you have everything else except the guy, and it's just it, it sucks. I, I've been there many, 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 many times. And do you think with Zach Wilson? Because like I said, we saw what happened last week. He would made awful throws. They were the Jets fans were so excited, just like the Giants fans were. Do you think that this is where we start to see the Jets completely take a nosedive? Yeah, I mean, I think their defense is good enough. They'll be, they'll still finish uh, above 500, and they'll they'll be in a lot of games. But this is not the game they're in. The Bills are going to kill them. Pats finish above them in the AFC East. Oh, I like that. Mm. Bold. I think the Jets are the the Jets. Yeah, and they they prove that. Uh, before we move on, though, we talk about how good the Eagles are, and obviously when this airs, they'll have already played. They'll be eight zero at this point. Do you still think that they're the best team in the league? Do you think the Bills are? No, the Bills are the best Bills, team in the league. Yeah. The Bills are the best team in the league. I like the Eagles. Obviously, I'm very invested in the Eagles, and they've, you know, you can't say anything about a team that's undefeated, but the Bills are mm. out of this world good. Out of this world good. All right, let's go to the Rams at the Bucks. Wit, I will start with you as somebody who's watched a lot of Tom Brady throughout the years. Uh, the divorce is officially final. I know we're not a pop culture show, but it seemed like there was a lot of distractions for him. Throughout the season, they're three and five. They've looked really bad. Do you think that now that it's out there, we know what's going on, that we might see a bounce back from the Bucks? I just don't ever go against him. He's been killing me this year. Mm-hmm. Just week after week after week of riding these guys, and it's been ugly. But after what I witnessed for the 20 years, I said in Boston, I'll never not pick, I'll never not pick him. Maybe like you mentioned, now he, he made a statement. He made, mm-hmm. I'm divorced. It's over. Maybe now he goes. Maybe he wanted that divorce. I know we're not pop culture. You can but talk in the about end... It, I'm not, I'll go down with that ship. And this is, I mean, I'm not going to say it's their season, but the Rams suck mm-hmm. and the Bucks are at home and they got to get <laughs> something figured out. Yeah, no, we can talk about it all we want. And Dion, you've mentioned that you've had Tom Brady's back. You've been here a couple yeah. times before. Yeah. You know what he's going couple through. Times. Now that it's just out there, everybody knows what's going on. It's potentially in the past. Do you think this is where we're going to see Tom Brady bounce back? 
Uh, Tom Brady's, I, I feel like he's bouncing back. Uh, he, he has to have some help. First and foremost, I don't know who the Rams are. They, they're not a team from a year ago. I, I don't know who the Rams are, uh, as well as the Bucks. The Bucks built their built everything on their premise of their defense. Their head coach is a defensive-minded coach. The thing that you don't want to happen is what you're known for as a coach to get blasted on. It, it would be like, you know what kind of uh, phone calls I would get from, from, from Dan if my secondary is just giving up pilot to bombardiers, come in bombardiers, mm -hmm. every, like if we get bombed every during week, he will eat me. I thought you was a dirty cornerback and your corners are getting bombed. No, no, that defense has to step it up. I, I, Tom is going to make a comeback. I, I'm, I'm not going to pick against Tom either. I'm just jealous of the divorce attorneys and how it got done so quickly because I don't know why. <laughs> That's easy money, getting, Dion. Wow, I'm still getting fees. Like, I'm just, I, I, attorney fees is eating me up for the last 12 years. I don't know what's going on. So <laughs> it, this is unbelievable. Maybe you he, should call he's Tom's of, guy. Maybe yeah, call Tom's guy. I need guy. to. I probably can't afford it, but I'm going to probably try. <laughs> Dan, what wow. do you think? So uh, you mentioned Todd Bowles. The one thing that drives me nuts about Todd Bowles is he just does not show any emotion. And I know that's maybe a meatball thing to say, but when you're getting your teeth kicked in week in and week out, mm -hmm. Get angry. Do something. Yeah, social get, passion. Like, get any angry at yourself. I don't know. Just do anything. But the the Bucks. I'm still, I'm in the same boat as Whitney this year. I've been betting on them every week. I've been getting killed every week. They are a bad football team. Like, I don't, I'm taking Real the bad. Bucks, but I actually admit that, like, they're bad and, and everything's broken. I'm just more pot committed at this I'm point. I'm writing it as a loss. Right, exactly. But I'm like, taking I'm, it, it, It's over. Like, they, they're not good. Tom Brady, though, I think he has to play, like, two or three more years now, He has right? to. Because he picked this, football this over. Camp, this yeah, camp, yeah, yeah. He picked football he over his wife. He didn't pick football over his wife. That's a nonsense story. That's what she wants you to think. Yeah, the, 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 that didn't picked. cause this issue. Right, there was other shit question. going on. Let me ask you a question. If Tom Brady had stayed retired, would they still be married? I'm going to say no. Oh, and okay. if they were I'm right now, it would no. be over I'm in a year. Like, this that, is, you don't. It's, it's, it's something. It's something else that we don't know. Yeah. And we, we can just okay. leave it alone. But it's not about football. I just think he has to keep playing now. I think he does too. And he can. Because his numbers aren't terrible right No, now. his offensive line is really, really bad. That's the thing that scares me the most in this game, that Aaron Donald is just going to be, you know, in the backfield all game. But I think it works the other way, too. The Rams' offensive line Horrific. is terrible. So I'll take Tom Brady for a team that maybe has every now and like they have. How about Julio? You're fucking guy, <laughs> Dion. Yeah. I'm they, mad too. Where, where is the hell's he been? I told you they, the guys old. They train guys. They train guys from the Falcons, and they ain't played all year. And I ain't seen Julio in a minute. I'm just getting more mad that I just I, I, like if I could go back and hit a time machine, go back six weeks and just be like the Bucks stink and just bet against them. Oh, you'd God be retired. Damn, you'd be retired. Right? So much happier. But you have to keep rolling with it. I, uh, I have no choice. I, mean, I have no choice. I'm backed into a corner because the minute I take the mm -hmm. other team, the Bucks will win. Yeah, the yes. minute you say, okay, Tom Brady is old, this team is no good across the board, they're going to start winning. No, they are no good across the board. Well, and Tom Brady right. is old. I admit everything that the Bucks are so bad. Let's go to Sunday Night Football, Dan. The Titans at the Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs coming off of a bye. The Titans, as of right now when we're recording, we do not know if Ryan Tannehill will be playing. It could be Malik Willis. But what we do know about the Titans last week, Derrick Henry ran all over the Texans, as he normally does. What do you think is going to happen in this primetime matchup? So, Jerry banged me real hard last week. He got in my ear. He told no, me the Texans were going to win. He banged me. Not good to get he banged. banged me. He banged me. He banged me. He he so. He started talking about the Texans going to win this game against the Titans. Mm. He banged me real hard. Uh, it was his play of the week, right? It was his play of the week. Oh, no. Uh, Andy Reid off a of bye. Auto take. Like, he just doesn't lose off a of bye. The, the Titans, Mike Vrabel's an incredible coach. What The fact that he even has this team at the top of the AFC South and winning games like they've always won games, like, He's just a great, great coach, but the South is horrible. Let's South is horrible, but Dion, Isn't every it? year everyone writes off the Titans, and every year Mike Vrabel has them in a position. The, to the South playoffs. is horrible. Who you're playing against in the South? They're horrible. It's a horrible division. I'm just saying, everyone always picks the Colts or you know, like this plucky team, that plucky team. Chiefs are gonna kill them though. What? They're yeah. gonna roll, and this game stinks. Yeah. Stinks. This game stinks. Watching, watching Tennessee play. I can't believe Derrick Henry needs one more 200-yard game for the all-time all -time, record. Yeah. That is just ridiculous. So they can see him. And I mentioned Dion as a coach yourself to see Vrabel crying with Ben Jones after he played through injury. It makes me like the Titans. 
But the Chiefs are a wagon, and they're going to just run over the Titans. It's yeah, I, I'm not going to be labored. It's the Chiefs is going to. It's just going to be a beatdown. All right, we'll pick some more games in just a second. Let's go to hashtag I believe. Now, with, this can be anything you want, a hot take, an opinion. We'll start with Dion, though. You said last week, which obviously you were very correct, that Dak and the Cowboys are about to make a run. Sorry, Dan. They absolutely killed the Bears, That's 49 fine. to 29. Fields and, was good, though. Yeah, Fields, he, he he's was the guy. good. Fields is the guy. He was good and is good. Yes, and, and Dan believes he's the guy, so we're going to believe that. But, Dion, when you look at the Cowboys, and I know we'll talk more about them eventually, but – we know their defense is really good. We saw what Micah Parsons and everybody was able to do. Then Dak is back, looks back on track. I feel like this, I believe, is going to continue because they look yeah, dangerous. Yeah, I'm, I'm not changing. I'm not changing because what Dak brings to the table is invaluable because it's a quarterback who gets the ball out of his hands and knows where to go with it. They have receivers. They have a running game. Now, the issue is Zeke. The issue is when Zeke come back healthy, who's going to start in the backfield? Mm -hmm. That's the darn issue. And I, I hate it to be an issue, but it's going to be an issue. They're trying to sweep it up under the rug. No one's talking about it. But that's going to be an issue. But regardless, Dak is going to make a run. Yeah, Tony Pollard had a hell of a day. So you're yes. right, it will be an He issue. always does. He mm -hmm. always does. All right, Whit, what are you going to go with this week? I mentioned to Dan earlier. And I know the numbers don't really justify me making this pick, but the same way I'm going down with Tom Brady, I'm going down with Aaron Rodgers. Ooh. And I think mm -hmm. that apparently Detroit's covered the last five home games against Green Bay, but I don't care. I think he goes in there, they lose four in a row, they roll over Detroit, and they go on a little bit of a run. I am refuse to think or see Green Bay not being near that playoff picture. They're not this bad, no, and they, they got Rodgers. They are. They truck stick this Detroit bad. this weekend. They're this bad. But was Dan? No. No, they're You're this You're just bad. biased. No, yes. they're this bad. They're I, this bad. I don't know if he told you this, Whit, but Dan did say, it's been a few weeks now when yeah. Eddie was sitting in that seat, and he, he had their own little side conversation. He said, I think Green Bay is bad. They're and dead. He's they're been dead. right. Yeah, he did they're say dead. it. He, he, they're fine. Dead. You can say it, but they're going to win this. Yeah, they probably would beat the Lions, but they're dead. By a lot. Yeah. Okay. But they're dead. Dan they'll, they'll beat the Bears uh -huh. their next game against them. Who cares? We're, we're building something for the future. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, I, Dion, can, you can't kick a field goal. My I believe last week was that you'd win by 38. You won 35 nothing. What the hell? It rained. Well, I'm sorry. We was playing in a blizzard. Damn. I mean, it rained and there was a monsoon down there. We had two, three darn uh, rain delays. Okay. I was just waiting for them to come over and, and, and stop it. Okay. All right. Well, I was close. Uh, close. My I believe is uh, everyone in this room, Jerry, Casey, Dion, Witt, you guys are all going to look like fools when Justin Fields uh, ascends to where he's going. He is the I guy. Oh my God. I'm holding the receipts I in my hand. To to Costco. I can't wait. Costco. I can't can, wait. Can I ask you what the ceiling is to ascend that – he will do like where is the ceiling over and under on completions no listen over and under on playoff wins in his career as That's, a starter where is the oh ceiling God, like where are we ascending to I, the over under is 0.5 over and under completions 10 11 he will win over seven and a half playoff games <laughs> In his career. In what? And that might not be all with the Bears, because the Bears might screw it He's up. He's going to be the winning wa quarterback walking off a field in eight playoff NFL games. I said what I said. This man is smoking what I some said. good I stuff. I said what I said. How long is he Let's playing football? Think. He's playing football I, I for another that. 15 years. I'll take that. Okay. Great. Let's I'll better see clean shave on years. that. You have to shave I'll clean. Mustache oh. and everything. All right, great. I'll see you in 15 years. <laughs> Beautiful. That's how confident he is. Yeah. So we will all look like fools when he wins eight total playoff games. Today. Yeah. In and if CFL. I win, Dion, I race you in a 40. Yeah, we got eight toes. I, listen, I appreciate that. I didn't, appreciate the challenge. I, I don't know how many toes you have. I'm this just way saying to take I race you in a 40. This way to take advantage of a hurting man. Good job. <laughs> he was hoping you just forgot that, Dion. That's uh, all. Right. All right, let's get to the Sunday conversation. We'll send it over to Caleb Glenny and Los Angeles Rams head coach Sean McVay. The winningest coach in Super Bowl 56 history. I like that. I like how you worded that. Sean McVay. There you go. Do you believe in concussions? Yes, I, I do believe concussions are real. Do you think concussions are stupid? Uh, no, I do not think concussions are stupid. What about people with them? 
Uh, definitely not. I think that some of the effects of concussions can make you a little bit impaired, but uh, definitely don't think people with them are stupid. Is that easier to coach a player who is concussed? <laughs> Just a little easier to control? Well, sometimes it can help guys get out of their heads. No, it's not easier. We want to try to avoid this. Um, try not to make it a laughing matter, even though you're making a laughing matter of it. I've been laughing one time. Okay, okay. Were you laughing? Uh, no. Have you ever had a concussion? I have, multiple times. What happened? I don't remember. Is that the only thing you don't remember? You have a good memory, don't you? Uh, only specific things. I think this has gotten a little blown out of proportion. But you don't remember stuff like you don't remember being born or anything like that? I uh, definitely do not. What about the Titans? Do you remember the Titans? Remember the Titans. The movie was outstanding. I actually went to the Titans Rams Super Bowl in 1999. That's the only thing I remember about the Titans. And why are you not wearing your Super Bowl ring? Well, number one... You trying to cheat on the Super Bowl? Well, it's a new year, you know, the, the, the 2021 season is over, we're moving forward and uh, it's back at home and we're out here in UC Irvine. Mm -hmm. And how'd you get your hair like that? Um, it's a lot of gel is the answer. Is gel short for jelly? Yes. It is? Yes. And what kind of jelly are you putting in your hair? What kind of jelly do you put in your hair? KY. Really? I've never, are you the, does anybody else do that? I don't know, do you? I uh, know. As football and, and time itself just continues to progress, do you think we will start seeing more women players? I don't know that uh, you can really predict the future, but I think that that's something that you want to try to be as inclusive as possible. What about white corners? You know, we shall see. There's always, uh, you know, there's always good athletes in a lot of different places. Are white people worse at corner? Uh, that is uh, difficult to say. There's a lot of really good players in this league. I, I, I don't know that you would say that. I didn't know. Are there any white corners in the NFL? Uh, you know, I, there's, uh, there's a lot of really good football players in this league. Can't think of anybody, uh, you know, on our team in those, those situations. Mm -hmm. We were having a nice dialogue and then you went full. How awkward can I make McVeigh feel right now during this interview? <laughs> Would well, you mind if we do a new segment presented by Mamitas? I would love to do a new segment presented by Mamitas. And you might be familiar with the, the concept. It's called MFK. MFK. Okay. Do you know what it means? Yeah, go ahead. What, what does it mean? Let's, let's clearly communicate with one another so we're not uh, misunderstanding. It's marry. Okay. Kill. So you have to choose one of the three people and you have to associate one of the actions. Okay. And that's okay with you? It is okay for me. Okay, let's go. Your wife, Osama bin Laden. Jeez almighty. Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald, okay. I, you know what, I'm not playing this game with MFK. I'm gonna marry my wife over again. I love uh, being intimate with her. You'll marry your wife. That's a good one, you got me tongue tied right now. You gonna let Osama live? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that, let's keep it moving. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. How would you answer that question? I would obviously kill Osama. Yeah. You have a beautiful wife and marry your wife. You would marry his wife? Yeah. So, see, that's a respectful guy right respectful there. Respectful guy. I can appreciate and then Aaron that. Donald, he's. I'd fuck Aaron Donald. <laughs> I think it's gross that you would marry his wife. He said it was respectful. Yeah. Marry your wife, kill Osama. There's only one more option. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kill Osama. Oh, no, hey, no. I, I mean, yes. All right, it's time for Jersey Jerry time. Let's play his music. Come on in, Jerry. I got how are music? You doing? I didn't know I had music. Oh, you do. I didn't know Jerry had music. He either. doesn't have music. I just felt like Jerry. I wanted to play your walk-up song. Hi, Jerry. How are you Jerry feeling the today? On. He yeah. does. He's kind of hiding a little bit today. I'll take it off. Take it off. All right, so it is time for the game time game of the week. We'll yep. get to the Vikings at the Commanders. Uh, do you have anything else that you want to talk about? I feel like sometimes you and Dan yeah, go back you know, and forth. Yeah, you know, I want to get it out in front of something, actually. Okay, go for it. Um, the Pittsburgh Steelers have the guy. Oh. Oh, no, Jerry. They, oh, they, they Jerry, just Jerry don't Jerry have the – no, no, you listen. It's my same. segment now. You listen. <laughs> oh, yeah, you right. sit there and listen, Dion. <laughs> the Steelers have the guy. They don't have any other guys, though. That's the problem. Mm. They have one mm. guy Can right you pick now. It? One guy on offense. They have two guys on offense. I apologize. They have Kenny right. and Pat Fryermuth, and mm. then defense, they have one guy, TJ Watt. They need mm. more guys, which they'll wow. acquire in the draft uh, and next year, you know, the offseason coming. They're not a good football team. They're really not. It's tough for me being a Steelers fan, but I know deep down, trust me, I, 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 we have conversations. 
We are friends. We talk. I'm not going to expose these sex messages. He's the guy. And I know we have the guy. Jerry, yeah. can, I, can I just uh, ask, well, not, not even a question. I wanted to say congrats. Chase Claypool gets traded to the Bears. You guys get a draft pick. But yeah. more importantly, this means way more targets for George Pickens, and you have a future on him to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. <laughs> okay, so for the people who don't know, I, I put in a bet in the beginning of the year, 1,000 to win 33,000 on, oh jo- on George Jerry. Pickens Rookie of the Year, mm-hmm. and I cashed out. What? Yeah, you knew that, Dan. <laughs> oh, what a, what a weasel. Yeah, that's what he does. No. That's what he does. He's going to get so Jerry, many more Jerry, targets we'll now, out, Jerry. So, Dion, what happened was I got it at such high odds. Uh, as the season got closer, people started to realize, oh, my God, like this, this bet is going down. And the line went down. So it, they were started to offer me, like, plus money in the beginning of the year. Like, I could have cashed out and made two or 3000 and right. then I cashed out at the right time because I cashed out and well, I just no. saved the thousand dollars. No, you didn't cash you didn't out. Make, I'm proud you didn't of you, make any Wait, you didn't no. cash out at the right time because they just traded Chase Claypool and now George Pickens is getting all the targets. Yeah, but the thing is, the Steelers aren't going to be a winning football team. Okay, this I might year. bet Nobody on George Pickens to win the offensive. Uh, they're not going to be a winning right football team this year, Dion. You would agree, right? Actually, great cash. The cash out right time would have been when he wins offensive. Dion, Kenneth Walker is probably going to win it, right? Man. No, no, Jerry. I mean, it was great, Jerry, because it contributed to the birthday party you just had a few weeks ago, too. So that was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. cashed out and, yeah. got, and took that money. Yeah. So yeah. I think it was good to cash out. Yeah. And also, so I'm going to ask you the same thing that Dan talked about earlier with Justin Fields being the guy. Yeah. Are you talking about, like, the guy going to win Super Bowls, the guy? Or? Uh, Kenny, Kenny. What's the ceiling for him? See, the problem is we don't even know the ceiling because mm. the offensive coordinator – is a, is a high school offensive coordinator. He's bad. The offensive line is atrocious. Defensive line doesn't sack the quarterback. The Steelers Whoa. are like one one and eleven without T.J. Watt. I mean, they just can't win if he's not on the field. Jerry, can I ask you one question? Yeah. How tough is it to try to say your guy is a QB that wears a glove on his throwing hand? The, the greats have never seen one great that yes, wears the glove you're right. throwing. You're right. And me, and me and Kenny have talked about this on the golf course, you know. <laughs> we played golf together o- o- in the off season, uh, And I said, hey, you know, it's a bad look. And he says, Jerry, listen, it's just what works for me. And I said, you know, I got to respect it. I, d- I did warn him, though. It was, it's a there's tough There's never look. been a guy that does that. Yes, there's never been a guy who has done yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. I mean, just I like that you guys call each other the first names as mm-hmm. well. Like yeah. The whole name. I like yeah, that. I mean, we're friends. You know what I mean? We play golf together. Showered at his house. Yeah. yeah. All right. You yeah. did. You yeah. showered at his well, house. No, we, we've his established house. that already, Dan. Didn't Jerry say he took a dump in his toilet? I, yeah, I didn't. I said I didn't. I said I didn't. Oh, you that. definitely took a dump before you showered at his house. Who doesn't take a dump before they shower? Me. I only poop like once a week. In your pants. Jerry, something's wrong with you if you don't want to do that, Jerry. Jerry, did you release yourself in the shower? Oh, shit. <laughs> I do it did sometimes. you? No, 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 at my own house. Did he take a shower? No, at my own house. At my own house. He, the fact that he, he, you had to think about that. No, was... I would never do that. No. Listen, game time, game of the week. <laughs> game time, game of the week. Yep. Yeah, okay. the visual. Thank you, Zach The visual I have. Thanks, Wade. I really, I really needed that after the show. All right, Jerry. The Vikings at the Commanders. Big news that came out yes. today when yes. we're recording is that Dan Snyder has hired Bank of America to potentially sell the Washington Commanders. So Correct. Whoa. Do you think that has anything to do with what's going to happen? I don't think on- it'll really affect it. Um, Minnesota brings in another piece, though, and that's T.J. Hawkinson. Mm-hmm top three, four wide receiver, uh, tight end in the league. That's a big get for them. I think Jefferson hasn't scored a touchdown in, since week one. I'm looking forward to him having a big game. I think the Vikings are going to put up a lot of points. I'm going to take them this week. I, I think they're going to handle the Washington Commanders. And, they, you know, the Vikings, they, they, they're they catching lightning in a bottle. You know, 6-1, and one, very underrated. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd even take a flyer on this team if I had an I believe. Um, I would say this team – could I believe they would end up in the NFC Championship game? Whoa! I like it. Jerry, that's not good. Jerry, don't do that. Don't do that. I man. think they're that good, Dion. Only to get pounded not, by the Eagles. They're, they're not they're that frauds. Good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, they're frauds. Thank, Thank you, they're, Jerry. They're not that good, Jerry. No. Good Thank job, though, Jerry. Yeah. Thank Great you, Jerry. Job, Jerry. I'd worry Great about segment. that. Great job, Jerry. Great <laughs> job, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dion. You're a good man, Jerry. Thank you. What do you think about this game? I don't like the Vikings. I like them in this game, but I'm not on their bandwagon by any means. The Commanders are not that darn bad. 
This is going to be a close game all the way to the end. The Vikings may win by seven, although I don't pick games. I don't know anything about the Lions or anything like that. But the Commanders aren't that bad. I'm going with the Vikings, though, but they're not they're not a, a NFC championship type team. They're a first round loss type team. Yeah. What? I, I think they're frauds. I can't stand their QB, one of the biggest nerds in pro sports. And <laughs> because of that reason, I just can't get behind them. I think at home, yeah, in the dome, no doubt. I love Washington in this game. I like that. I love see, I like. I got. Can you flip my TV back? Because I got to see my, my my new friend. Because he's talking some gospel. Tell me something. How do you guys, hockey guys, know? Watch other sports, and you know who's soft and who's not a dog and who's not real guys. Yeah, you really do. Yeah, now, that's granted, good. that's good. Hockey players watch way more sports than maybe football players watching hockey, so we're able to see. Mm-hmm. But I see Kirk Cousins. And you're telling me NFC Championship Super Bowl? Guys like that. No, no way. No, he might as well a put a glove on his league. throwing hand. Yeah. He's right. that type of A lot of guys in the league feel that same way. So I'm, I'm wondering what you saw for that because a lot of guys in the league and out of the league feel the same way about I Kirk think Cousins. if you don't swear. Oh, my, my, my second thing about hockey that shocked me when I went to my first hockey game years and years ago is the dudes are just jumping over the wall and just going in. Like, oh, yeah. it was no – Change on I was the like, fly. why did – yeah, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know you could just jump over the wall and go in. Yeah, but you can't jump unless the guy it. gets there. Once the guy gets, you jump over and replace him. Same way you'd be sprinting off the field and a guy'd be going on for you, but we just have to hop over the boards. And there's been many right. times guys catch a, catch a foot, and then I happened to me. I tripped over the boards. It's embarrassing, oh, but it no. happens. Don't look at the, that clip the, on Don't put though. that clip in here. We're not exactly, like, the best athletes in the world, but we're pretty good on blades. Yeah. And the jumping yeah, over the bench you guys can just awesome cause issues. Blades. Awesome on blades. Yeah. Awesome on blades. Awesome. Any more hockey questions, Dion? Or you, you want to? I got a few, but I, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta come up. Okay. But I just <laughs> wanted to jump in They gotta the be natural. Time. Yeah. Okay. They gotta be natural. I like that you call Kirk Cousins a nerd. Wit. So like, when you see a nerd, that's just like he can't be a winner if he's a nerd. As a QB, you can be nerd receiver. You can be especially nerd offensive lineman. There are a lot of nerds. Yeah. Nerd, nerd quarterback. You want those? Nope. 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 All right, Dan, what do you think about this I'm game? taking the Commanders in this game as well. Okay. I, I, I'm not a believer in Kirk Cousins. So <laughs> Jersey, Jersey, Jersey's, Jersey's giggling. Heineke is nice. You And you like Heineke. I love Heineke. He's, he's going to get some he's new Jordans. He's a dog, yeah. Jersey? No, you love Heineken. No. <laughs> oh, that's Coors Light, good. Coors Light sponsored. I feel like Jerry's giggling just makes it so much better. Why'd you take your mic off, Jerry? I got business to handle. He's got business to handle. Oh, he's got business to handle. Business to handle. Yeah, yeah, I okay. Work. I got to work, unlike other people. Oh, yeah, he's been taking shots at you all day. That's fine. About not working. Not working. Uh, So that was the Game Time Game of the Week. And if you are looking for tickets, go to the Game Time app. Download the app, create an account, and redeem code FOOTBALL for $20 off your first order. Terms do apply. Dan, I meant to ask you, did Frank ever use the tickets that you bought? He did. He went to the Jets-Dolphins game, yeah. So made him happy. the Dolphins got smushed, and he was... There you go. He did thank me, too, which I appreciated. Yeah, so thanks to Game Time, you made Frank happy for like two seconds. Yeah. That's all that mattered. Exactly. Let's get to the rapid fire games of the week presented by Cross Country Mortgage. Players watch game film to prepare. Finding your dream home is no different. And Cross Country Mortgage is the partner that's prepped to put you in position to win. Reach out to us today at ccm.com slash barstool. That's ccm.com slash barstool, ccm.com slash barstool. Equal housing opportunity, NMLS 3029. All loans subject to underwriting approval, NMLS Consumer Access. Dot org. I don't know what just happened while we were doing that, but did Jerry have some sort of issue? Could you? No, he just needed to get his bag. He forgot his bag. Okay. Every time I hear him come in and I look and there's a camera on him, yeah, I just yeah, wonder no, what he's he just doing. Forgot his bag. Okay, so we're good. And by the way, the watching the clip back of you guys making fun of him taking the wrong train around the Christmas tree yeah. was mean. It was mean. Yeah. I mean, he he is short, but we don't make fun of how people are born. Like Jerry <laughs> it's not his fault. No, it's not his fault. Yeah, don't don't make fun of it. Maybe he could have drank a little more milk. I know, or yeah, a couple just, more veggies. Yeah, just a couple. <laughs> I'm glad he's not here. He, that that would have made him storm out, so at least we avoided that. All right, Dion, let's start with the Chargers at the Falcons. The Chargers had a bye. The Falcons had that crazy win in overtime oh. last week against the Panthers, and I know we talk about it every week. We've done it every season, how you feel about the Falcons, but they did get the win last week, so how are you feeling? They, they're going to hurt me. They, this is what they do. It's, it's like Dan with the Bears. I'm going to take the Falcons. I, I'm, I'm riding with them. I'm, I'm going with them. Good for you, Dion. Look at that. That's some balls. Witt, Witt's shaking his head like. The fact that the Falcons are leading that division currently, correct? It's they, they stink. They're going to lose this game. I, I, I'm, on, I'm, I'm on the Chargers. Yeah. I'm, I'm not on, going on the Falcons no. train. I'm on the Chargers as well. Chargers off a bye. 
Uh, Falcons secondary dinged up. I think Herbert's going to have a nice day. Yeah, leading the division at 4-4 four and four with the way they've been playing just tells you how bad that division is. Yeah. All right, Dan, I know where we're going with this. Bears. But I, I mean, Dolphins at Bears. Bears, easy. Okay, so easy. what? Bears, what? E no, I, I have to pick the Bears. Okay. And I do you don't have they to. They could win this game. They could win this game. They, they could. could win this game. Uh, they, a, anyone could win any game. Yeah, that's very true. So they could that's win very this game. True. So thank you. Wait, that's why yeah. I always you start with Dan with, with the Bears because I know what's happening. Yeah. And, like we're looking at each other. The Dolphins are really good. The, the Dolphins Tua's are really good. good. And 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 uh, remind me of the big trade they just made. Uh, Bradley Chubb from Denver. You got to think that's an immediate impact on D. Well, yes. Chase Claypool and, and, to the Bears. And, yeah, <laughs> very true. He's got nobody to throw it to him. Yes. But I'm on the Dolphins. I think an easy win. Deion? Easy win in mm. Chicago too. Yeah. I'm with the Dolphins as well. Easy win. See, this is Dion always, Dion always brags about his record, but he doesn't stick by his teams. I stick by yes, my I do. But he wants to I, win. I stuck no, by he the doesn't Falcons. stick he by He wants to you, win. This is the first week you've ever picked the Falcons. I'm winning. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Dion, we've talked about the, the Dolphins and with Tua just quickly. I mean, obviously, you look at what they have on offense, and they've got two guys that are unstoppable at this point. I'm a Tua guy. Yeah. You guys know I'm a Tua guy. I, I am too. I've been too. with Tua from the beginning. Yes. Two and on. Except for this week, Dan. Yeah. Because Justin Fields is the guy. Yes. Who would you rather, Tua or Justin Herbert? Mm. Tua. Wow. I would rather have Tua as well. I'm wow. Tua and on. I'd rather Tua. Tua and on. <laughs> Tua and on, baby. <laughs> Expect us. All right. Herbert, well, we, 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 Herbert looks the part, mm -hmm. all that, but it just seems like it don't work out. Some kind of way it just does not work out for him. With the Panthers at the Bengals, the Panthers, like we mentioned, lost in a weird game of the Falcons, but the Bengals, Monday Night Football, got their shit kicked in against the Browns, which was a little bit surprising, even though these two teams play each other weird. Joe Burrow, I mean, the, the whole thing just did it not It was look, shocking. Yeah, I got smoked. Good. I got absolutely smoked in that game, but I think this is the perfect storm. I saw Big Cat's pick a last week that the Bengals ended up going to the AFC title game. Mm -hmm. I still like this team a lot. I think that the Panthers are pathetic. I don't know. Like, the, the way they lost that game against Atlanta, mm -hmm. is it, that, that's how bad they are. I think the Bengals win this game easy. Dan? Uh, yeah, Bengals easy. Dion? Bengals easy. I told you guys the Bengals aren't good. I said it last week. I said it the week before. They're not good. They're, they're masquerading. They're living off what transpired last year when they caught everybody off guard. Herbert has a great grad, a great season. They're normal now. They're back to the old Bengals. But the Carolina Panthers are smoking hot garbage <laughs> in a microwave. So I'm going to pick the Bengals. Okay, Dion, the Packers at the Lions. You mentioned earlier that the Lions are one of the worst teams in the NFL. The Packers are struggling. Yep. What do you think we see in this one? And, and, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is not happy. We know that. Can they bounce back? Yeah, yeah, they will. They'll bounce back this week. The Detroit Lions are going to pick, put up a heck of a fight because no one's scared of the Packers anymore. But the Lions are also trying to get that first pick. I don't know how they do it every year. They're in there running for it every year. <laughs> the, the team should be unbelievable right now with all the high draft picks that they've had. But Aaron Rodgers will be back this week. And what you said, you can't give up on Aaron Rodgers yeah, just yeah, like you can't give up on Tom Brady. This is my, is it I believe? I believe the yeah. Packers yes. run over the Lions. And Dan? Yeah, Packers are going to win this game. I, 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 the Packers are bad, but the Lions are the worst. Yeah, they're so bad. The Lions, yes. they had a little bit of a spark when they won early in the season. Yeah. Now losing five the one, in the a row. One game. Just, yeah. Well, it took the them like 13 yeah, yeah. weeks to yeah. do it last year. So They won a game. Yeah, it's a sad sight for Detroit fans. All right, Dan, let's go to the Raiders at the Jags. Both of these Ugh, teams gross are game. gross. Maybe the gross grossest. Game. It's gross. Trevor yeah. Lawrence, I mean, struggling. The Raiders are a mess. Yeah. This is a disgusting game. I'll, I'll take the Jaguars. I just, I don't love this game. I, I actually probably won't watch this game. But the Jaguars at home, this game sucks. Yeah. If yeah. you're not a fan of either team and you watch this game, you've yeah, got you're, serious you're issues. You're, you're a You're a sicko. Yeah. You're a sick, yeah. You're a yeah, sickle. yeah, yeah. Um, you like pain. Yeah. How, does, how does Trevor Lawrence, with the way his careers began, not cut his hair? It's like you I got know. you have like he you look so bad hair. with that hair. You have to change something. That you guy should be out there. With the hair. He should be out there this Sunday with yeah. no hair out of the back of his helmet, and maybe things can turn around. I don't even know if I can pick this game. Raiders. I don't care. It's disgusting. Do you think the hair though? It's because he was so good in high school and college with it that he's got to change it. You got to change it. Good anymore. Got to change it. No long hair quarterback has ever won a Super Bowl. You're not good anymore. That's a fact. That he true? might as well throw yes. a glove on his throwing hand. Yeah. yeah. That's how bad. All right, cut the hair, Dion. What do you think? This, this really is a bad game. The only way I'm going to watch this game is it's on that channel and someone like Dan took the batteries out of my remote because mm -hmm. he would do something like that. Yep. That's the only way 
I would watch that game. Yeah, it's torture. I'm going, I'm going with the Jaguars <laughs> only because they're at home. Okay, yeah, it's it's by far the worst game of the, of the week. <clears throat> All right, with the Colts at the Patriots, uh, we know what's going on with New England. Mac Jones did get the start yep. last week. How are you feeling about your team? Um, not great. I'm willing to kind of admit I don't think he's the guy. Uh, in terms of getting Sucks to that Super Bowl level, uh, I had a guy for 20 years. <laughs> mm. We don't have a guy right now. I don't know exactly what's going on, but I still think the Pats are actually a decent team, better than people think. Colts think Pats win this game big. And their Pats will finish, like I said, maybe ahead second Jets. ahead of the Jets in the AFC. Did you think that he was the guy to start, though, over Bailey Zappi? I thought, year, I, thought, I thought if you were going to – last year he was okay, but he was so bad at the end in yeah. that playoff game mm-hmm. that I was like, I don't know. And then I just thought when they started him that game, you got to keep him in the whole game. Yeah. That was yep. my the thing I didn't like. But he's not exactly looking like a first-round, can't-miss prospect. It's not, not great for New England fans right now. Dan? Right. Yeah, the Colts are so garbage. Mm-hmm. So oh. I'm going to take the Patriots. Like they, they just fired their OC. The walls are caving in on Frank Reich. I'll take the Patriots. Dion? You know what, Mac Jones, I, I do feel like he's the guy. It, it's no way where you start off looking that good and you go too bad. It's, it's no way. But what transpired was he lost his coordinator. Mm-hmm. And you got to understand how serious of a relationship that stuff is, losing a guy that knows how to push your buttons. And he directed him well. Um, I still think he's the guy. The Patriots are not the Patriots anymore, but they will beat the Colts because the Colts are horrible. Dan, the Seahawks versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals losing to the Vikings. The Seahawks beating the Giants. Giants fans had their their hopes dashed. And Geno Smith, he's still still playing pretty well. What do you think happens? Uh, I am taking the Seahawks. I took the Seahawks and advisors, right? I'm taking Um, the Seahawks. You did. I like the Seahawks. The Cardinals stink. I like this game, actually. Yeah, Yeah, it's going to be a fun game. I think it's going to be a good game. I think with Hopkins now feeling it again, Mm -hmm. I actually like Arizona in this game. I don't even like Kyler Murray that much, but I think this, this game is big for the Cardinals, and they get a win. I don't know if the Seahawks are as good as people say they are. It just looks I'm so happy for Geno Smith. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he to do. He is good. He should win several awards. The comeback player, the where have you been player, to stand alive, stand alive player. Um, he should win every darn player award there is because he is, I mean, he, everybody thought he had a fork in him. And I'm happy for him. So I'm picking the Seahawks. I just don't trust the Arizona Cardinals whatsoever. I really don't. Dion, I was going to ask you about that. So obviously getting Hopkins back is great, but what are you seeing with Kyler Murray? Because he's still putting up great I said numbers, that at the but, beginning, but yeah. I said it at the beginning. Sometimes it, they just don't have the winning recipe there. They, they don't have the winning formula. I just hate, I would hate to be a teammate and hear that they try to put in my quarterback's contract that they just gave a boatload of money that he have to watch film. Yeah, that's a you, tough You know, look. that's an indictment. That That's an indictment of you're not serious about your craft. You're just relying on your athleticism. That's a tough look, man. That's that's harsh in the locker room. And, and Dion, let me ask you, if, if as a coach, the clip everyone saw of him telling uh, Kingsbury to calm the fuck down, getting off the field. Like, if somebody says that to you, that, that ain't oh, going to go down the way. Oh, no, no, no. No, he's off. Well, first of all, college and pros are different. College, so, he's off the team. Yeah. Pros... You can't do it because he makes more money than everybody, but you just fired your coach. That That's how you fire a coach. Yeah. Yep. Because now, yeah, because everybody loses uh, respect. Mm-hmm. Because it's the relationship's done. Yeah. And they yeah. have the like done. Yeah, because King, he got to go back. Either you go back at him mm-hmm. and check him and put him in his place and let the whole world know who he really is, or you let's let it ride. But if you let it ride, you're, you're done. done. Yep. Yeah. You're that's, done. That's tough. All right, let's go finish off the show with Monday Night Football. Dion, the Baltimore Ravens oh at the God. Saints. How, how can you even ask me something? I know. Like this. I know. Lamar Jackson on Monday night. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So, I mean, we got a week where we're on uh, foot, game day uh, football, whatever, college football, whatever we were on last week. And then you give me Monday Night Football with Lamar. Mm. My God, I'm going to be blowing a couple numbers up like mm-hmm. every Me too. other play. I'm going to be calling somebody. Yeah. I'm picking the Ravens mm-hmm. by 20 points. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, I have the Saints. I will be FaceTiming you when the Saints win this game. Bet uh, on I'm them. waiting on it. Bet on I'm that. I'm waiting on it. Bet on I'm waiting them. on it. Don't pretend you're asleep. 
Don't pretend you're. I do you go know, to sleep you're, early. You're I just recruiting. want to throw that out there. I do you're, go to sleep around eight. You're, I do you're go to sleep around eight. Your your recruiting trips is just looking at your family tree. So you don't even need to get out of your house to recruit. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay? That, so don't that is going to go that. viral. <laughs> that one is going viral. That's a good one. You just That's go, a really good just pulls up 22 and me, 23 and me. He's like, all right, that's quarterback, that's quarterback. That's like, done. Recruited. Time to go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Time to go to sleep. Uh, all right, Wiggle, well, where do you, between the two of these guys, where do you stand? I think stands? the Ravens get the win. Um, I think it's going to be closer than, than Dion thinks, but I think the Ravens get the dub. And do you think that the Saints stick with the Andy Dalton experiment? I haven't, I haven't watched a Saints game this year. So <laughs> Which is okay. Honest. I, I actually haven't seen honesty. one play. You know, that's yeah, honest. I haven't missed anything. Honestly, that's honest. I, you know exactly, Dion said, yeah, I haven't missed anything. You haven't missed anything. There you go. You, you haven't, haven't missed, missed anything. anything. No. Not yeah. at all. Put it this way. If the Ravens lose this game, they are frauds. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Do you, do you like Lamar Jackson as much as Dion? Or? I don't know about as much as Dion, but I like him more than Big Cat does. No, I like okay, him so. a lot. I just think Josh <laughs> Allen's better. Big Cat's a hater. No, I'm not. You guys are haters. haters. Justin Fields is better than Lamar. Yeah, Justin Fields is better be. than them both. <laughs> yeah, he be. is the guy. Let's go to the primetime pick of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. So it's officially November, which means we are starting over completely again. Dion, you won in September. You and Dave, and I put Dave in, in quotes because it was all the guys picking for him. You guys tied in October, but we're starting over in November. So, Dan, this is your time to shine. All teams on the board. Okay. So who are you taking? I'll take the Bills. Easy. Bills? Okay. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right, wait. Remember, you are picking for Dave here. Oh man, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a man of honor, and I, I just, I can't get away from Aaron Rodgers running over Detroit this week. Okay. That's my. You've pick. talked me into this. I'm gonna put in the can't lose yeah. parlay. It's empty. It. It. It's and it. you are a man of honor because you could have absolutely made him lose, but yeah, exactly. you're, you're not Which gonna do it. Which still may happen, but. <laughs> All right, Dion, who are you taking? I'm gonna take uh, Lamar Jackson and Baltimore. Okay. Anything else, guys? No, great show. Thank you, Whit. Yes. Dion, show. thanks for having me. Casey, Big yeah, Cat, thank you, pleasure man. being here. I, I do Here's have more hockey questions. I, I got to just think about them. I, I do have yeah, more. Yeah, send them to him. I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have him back. Yeah. And, um, I mean, who said that you can't do every sport, you know? You're yeah. taking over. Range. Your you got it. Range. You got the range. Yeah. Range. We're going to do uh, Not that, NBA. the NBA. No NBA. Podcast no NBA. What about baseball? Where do we send the Hey, guys, you guys forgot to send Jerry out, by the way. You got forgot to send Jerry out to lead us out last week. Thanks. To carry the flag. We will get that. <laughs> All right, we'll be back next week. You guys enjoy your weekend. November 11th, we are bringing the Barstool Invitational to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. That's right, the captain of Philly is bringing our first college basketball tournament. We're doing it all. Halftime show, announcing, tickets, you name it, all us. Game one, 5 p.m., it is UAB versus Toledo. Game two, Mississippi State versus Akron. We're doing it all. You want a unique basketball experience? Buy your tickets today. They're cheap. Time of your life. Bang! Five.